This tutorial will cover dynamic class lists, a way for teachers to access automatically generated class lists based on data found in a student information system or other database. A class list determines which students or devices will be brought into a teacher's channel and then managed through their Land School Teacher Console. For an introductory look at this concept, please check out our first video tutorial on class lists. Using dynamic class lists replaces the need for teachers to manually create and update the list of students that they want to manage during each class period. Instead, the information is pulled from a central network location and is based on what classes each teacher is scheduled to teach and which students are currently enrolled in each class. The information is most often exported from a student information system. For specific technical details on generating these files, please see the Land School User Guide available on our website. At the start of class, a teacher can load a dynamic class list from the Land School Teacher Console by navigating to the Administer menu, then the One-to-One -one menu, and selecting Load Dynamic Class Lists. If it's the first time dynamic class lists have been accessed, you may be prompted for the central network location of the generated CSV files. Enter the path manually, or browse to the folder that contains the correct CSV files for your environment. Then click OK. Dynamic class lists can be generated based on login name, machine name, or Active Directory first and last name. Make sure to select the one that matches how your organization's lists were generated. Under the Classes section, you'll see any classes that your teacher machine or login name is assigned to teach. Selecting a class will display the list of student devices or login names that are currently assigned to that class. To load that class and pull those students into your teacher channel, make sure it's selected and click Load. Only those students listed as being assigned to that class will be added to your channel and displayed in your teacher console, ready to go. When class is over, click the Class List button from the toolbar and select Dismiss Current Class. Those student computers will return to their default channel and will no longer be visible in the teacher console. This concludes the tutorial on utilizing dynamic class lists. Find more tutorials like this and other methods of support by visiting our website at www.landschool.com.